Hi Libra, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Libra Love Tarot reading here at the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. Hello, <laughs> hello, how are you? I hope that you're well. Good morning to you, good afternoon, good evening, depending upon where you are in the world, whatever time of day it is. Libra, before we get into your reading, I would like to invite you at this time to like today's reading and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps us continue to grow here so that I can bring you more readings. So thank you very much in advance for that. In the description below, you will find all the decks that come in today. You'll also find the playlists. And yeah, they're, they're very easy to get to. All zodiac signs, messages from your person, messages from your spirit guides. Very long in-depth twin flame readings if you're on a twin flame journey. Maybe you're just curious. Either way, everything is below. Also, the tarotcloset.com where I do offer personal readings. Please remember that readings are timeless. They're meant for you well, when they find you. So that can be in real time. It can also be many months or even years later. It can feel like a private reading. It can also be that there's one, you know, a several messages throughout or even one thing that you need to hear. Remember, it's a general tarot reading. So take what is for you and let the rest go. Everyone has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future is not fixed. Okay, you guys, let me fix my sweater. <laughs> Let's get into it, Libra. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho. Whoa. It's temperance in. Whoa. In reverse. Okay, you guys. All right, so this is a, a difficult disconnection, guys. Temperance, your very first card here. It's a little bit of, it's kind of a chaotic feeling. It's in reverse. It's Major Arcana, of course. It's Jupiter Energy. And it's right here with the Devil card in the Partnership Placement. This is Capricorn Energy. It's also Saturn Energy. And yeah, Saturn can... Well, Saturn slows everything down. Saturn can cause a little bit of misery, and we can see that here in the Ace of Wands. This has been, yeah, this is this is somebody who might be coming in and coming out, you guys. This is somebody who's indecisive, who's not really acting. This is, yeah, it's a time, it's kind of a time we'll, we'll only time will tell energy, but there's also a lot of power struggles here. This is a brutal feeling to me, guys. The Ace of Wands in reverse. This is somebody who left you feeling rejected, who, again, might be coming in and out. You know, just, it's sort of like, well, yeah, not being clear. Let's see what's going on, because the Devil card can mean a lot of things. First of all, it's very much like the Lover's card, so... There is still a connection to this person here. This can be about something that went on. It can also be you wanting to disconnect here. Let's see, you guys. It's, yeah, because there are some power struggles. What else is coming through? I think that I thought that wanted to come and then it didn't. Okay, yeah. So the Ten of Swords in... These are also coming through. My gosh, okay. <laughs> you guys, this couldn't be any more different. All right, so the Ten of Swords is right below the Temperance Libra and, Libra, and this doesn't surprise me because this is overwhelming energy. Look, and it's right here, catty corner, with the Devil card, the Major Arcana. So this was really difficult. Ending, breakup, divorce, separation, what is it, guys? We can see that here. And then we look over here at the King of Cups, which is... Well, Pisces energy and its King of Cups is actually quite a beautiful energy. Master of emotions here. But there's something about this card. I and mean, first of all, you can see that there's a lot of deep emotions for you. Okay. It's in the upright. Yay. <laughs> but we also see it's kind of like they're playing with the cup here. You know, is it is it being juggled? Are they dropping it? 
we don't see any any emotional energy in there there's one here so what exactly is going on were they playing with your feelings not emotionally available it's yeah and again here is that kind of hot and cold energy with the ace of wands this is somebody who was kind of in and who was out and look what's right below this is where their energy is the strongest it's the ten of wands it's a new cycle it's sagittarius energy it's also jupiter energy and it's yeah, this this person I feel like is it's a lot. Whatever happened, I feel like they want to come to you because whatever happened, look, it put the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. So there's some they're also missing you. That's what I want to tell you, Libra. And yeah, there's put some conflicting energy here in this connection. The pentacles are really slow moving. It's a slow moving energy. It's Mercury and Virgo. So this person is thinking about that, but also I got to tell you, it can be, it's not always the case, but it can be that there is something going on in their life as well, whether it's mon monetarily based um, with a house or even another connection. But I feel this energy here strong and look what's coming through. It's like, what the heck, you know, <laughs> where did this come from? Well, it's not surprising because we can see there's a lot of emotions here. It's just... This person can't, I feel like they can't really come, um, but the connection between you, it's almost bordering, yeah, a little obsessive here, I gotta say. So there's this hot or cold coming in, coming out, and it's just too much for you. We can see here in the Ten of Swords. And the good news is, this is a new cycle. This is the sun in Gemini. And as you can see, this is the moon here, which is the subconscious what do you need the sun for well the sun is the conscious it shines on the moon it highlights it it illuminates everything so you can see your way out of here and you can see what you need to see to to get out of these ten of swords it is a new cycle and whether you need to look swim through here the emotions and get to the other side or whether you simply get up and go either way it's really tied to the devil card energy and you know is this the outcome I would love to say, yeah, this is the outcome, and here we go, it's over. The thing is, it can be. You know, these came out at the end sort of like, I want to say, extra cards. This is more than I normally take, but they want it to be, excuse me, in the reading. I'm just going to move things here a little bit, guys, because we can see that it's uncertain that somebody is not acting. It's overwhelming for everybody, okay? You're also here in the Ten of Wands, and they're also here in the Ten of Swords. This, to me, feels like a separation that is not really wanted, okay? What went on in the Devil card? Is it simply obstacles that have just been in the way that no particular person did? Maybe. Here, it's really tied to the Ten of Swords and also to the King of Cups. So I do feel and next to temperance in reverse and the hangman you know the major arcana is here i do feel that it's emotional energy I, I feel a strong connection here guys but it can be that somebody is in another connection and maybe even going through something here it really is a it's a period of uncertainty in this connection guys and temperance is in reverse here so it's this feeling of it's it's controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't it's kind of an out of control feeling and the nine of wands in reverse was coming below the devil card so this is also yeah this is somebody being more vulnerable this is kind of coming out of i want to say in some ways isolation but it's it's really just not being so self-defensive anymore so that can also be you but it can be this person struggling with some ego here because we see the power struggle in the hangman and the temperance card in reverse is kind of a little bit of chaotic energy you know everything's tied here uh, i do feel that the emotions that this person has are much bigger than what they let on i feel there might be something going on in their life this can also be you um, but this outcome is this an outcome, actually, is what I want to say, or is this simply what was interrupted? I feel like this is something that is between you both that you want. Now, it can be that you are in a, a, a Ten of Cups connection with this person, okay? It can also be that this is what you were working toward and it was thwarted, so to speak. But these came down at the end. It's interesting. And 
the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this is a new beginning. It can be even a proposal of marriage, which isn't surprising because then we see the Ten of Cups, which is Pisces energy, um, Mars energy, which is the current energy. It's kind of what's the planet of action, passion, aggression, drive, conflict, desire. This is a Pisces card, but Mars is bringing in Aries and Scorpio for me as well. It's the beginning and the end. So it's, I feel like it maybe never had a chance to come to fruition. And it can be that you get up here in the Ten of Swords and say, yeah, no, I'm just going. But it's not really strong energy for me. This is more of everybody's just kind of in limbo. It's a period of uncertainty here and that this is what is being thought about guys this new cycle and somebody here can be coming with this offer it can be a proposal of marriage it's not always the case it can also be a message this yeah because this is brutal disconnection is what i want to tell you the energy in the temperance in reverse is is a little chaotic and it feels out of control so it's the emotions are really strong but this person is holding them back. They're indecisive in their life. They're possibly going through something here. Quite overwhelming. But I feel like it's a new cycle. This is what I think you both are wanting here is what's coming through for me. I want to get some overall energy. And then I'm going to bring in a little bit of clarification and then some oracle. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we have the overall energy for Libra? Whoa. Libra, look. The High Priestess just landed right in my hand. Overall energy for it, Libra's person here today. The other thing is, it can be that you're, you're both sharing the energies, or one person has them both. Maybe I need to draw another one. Let's see. Whoa, guys. Whoa. Okay. As you can see, it's two major arcanas. It's the Magician card, as above, so below, manifesting, what here? Well, it's the infinity sign. For some of you, that's very clearly your twin flame. That won't be for everyone because the infinity sign is also forever love. You know, it's just that feeling of, yeah, it's, this is your person. That's what I want to say to you. As above, so below. It's turning what you want into a reality and then also taking the inspired action. And this is in the upright for you. So I feel like, excuse me, Libra, it can be that there's a pretty big decision coming. It may even be just a conversation or a meeting. But this feels like, I got to say, because this person has a lot of feelings for you. And, and things are quiet here. It's very, very, very clear. But it's also brutal for them. And we can see that it, they're not enjoying this separation at all, at all here. Look at all that um, reunion energy, I want to say here. This is the, the laurel wreath. It's also the success. You know, it's getting out of these ten of wands and possibly dealing with something that's going on in their life. Now, this can also be, as I said, representing what didn't get realized and got disconnected with you, the ten of pentacles, okay? Because it's some conflicting energy within partnerships, and it can be legal contracts or not, either way. Okay, and sort of, yeah, it's in discord, it's not working out. And then we see the Ten of Cups. So it can be that it just wasn't realized and interrupted. But it can be somebody is in another connection. And this is really, I feel like coming down to you and trusting yourself here and this high priestess energy, if this is what you're wanting, because look at this. It's the high priestess, it's cancer and energy, and it's things coming out, it's secrets coming out, it's stuff you've been, I feel, waiting on here for a while because you're coming out of the ten of swords too so what you're going to do the decision you make is your free will and it's what we always it's what we know already trust yourself you're in a compass your gut instincts your guardian angels because somebody is coming here i feel and this is your person's overall energy and sometimes they reverse or they belong to you know both of them this is their energy here this is a brutal energy in reverse. This is somebody who was coming in and out, but it's also delayed and doesn't like it. It's because they're working through something and it's the Ten of Wands. What is that for them? Well, the Wands are the energy of love. It's the idea of love, okay? And yeah, they're, they're coming out of that, I feel, guys, very much. The Hangman energy, the thing about the Hangman energy as well, 
is this is getting to the root of the issues. Look at that. And look at that. It's, of course, look at the sunbeams coming off. That's the conscious. That's the, well, God, goddess, universe. That's the source. And that's also knowing. It's connected to the crown chakra. And it's, it's getting literally to the root of the issues. Yeah, it's a period of uncertainty now. There's a lot of indecision here. There's nobody's really acting. There's some power struggles going on. It can be this person. Something went on here. The devil card is here, slowing it all down. <laughs> Saturn bringing in some misery. We can see that. But self defenses are the, you know, the Nine of Wands energy of, you know, holding up, saying, yeah, wait, I've been hurt, are coming down. And I feel like it's for both of you and that you're still connected here. Some of you might be saying, yeah, for me, this is a, a I'm leaving. And that can be the case. We see it. It really is going to be different for everybody because the High Priestess is saying, you know, trust yourself what decision you want to make here, whether you're going to take this offer or not, whether it's talking again or whether it's really big and it's actually a marriage proposal, you guys. Because this is somebody who has a lot of feelings for you that I feel that you have a lot of feelings for as well. But it always this is going to be about your trusting yourself, your intuition and your gut instincts and what you're wanting to do here. So it is a little bit of dreamy energy. It's also what wasn't realized and what could still be. There's a high possibility here is what I feel like. I want to bring in some more, um, another deck completely. I just want to move the energy and let's see. Okay. Whoa. It's the Eight of Cups in reverse, guys. Yeah. <laughs> this is somebody coming back who's learned their lesson. Um, I want to show you this card. And this is being pushed off, so I feel like this is yours. See, yeah, look at this. It's the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Okay, this is a lot of what um, we needed to hear. Again, this is in the reverse, guys. The Eight of Cups is Saturn in Pisces. And we see, we already know here that Saturn is here, jacking everything up, you know. But Saturn is in Pisces here, which is, well, it's in reverse, guys. So it's a very emotional somebody coming back and really not wanting to lose you again, L learning their lesson. Is this just talking? Is this building a future together? Look at this. This is the pentacles are built up the 10 here. This is what it takes to get this new start, this new cycle, the roses here. My gosh, you guys to up right here. So this is the two of you. This was the two of you all along. This is somebody coming back, having learned their lesson. Whoa. Libra, there is the infinity symbol if you're on a twin flame journey. It won't be for everyone, but Libra, it's also attached to you. It's balance, you know, and that's bringing in the Libra energy, of course, bringing in some justice energy. There's the dove looking right up. Look at this, guys. There's the sun, the conscious, the knowing. Just looking to see what else is here. It's, it's interesting because it's it's like, is this the fire? <laughs> is this the fire? Are these wings? They're all the cups. Holding the heart. Look at this. The emotional energy. This is the Pisces energy. And it's in reverse. There's the star, the hope, the growth, the flower. There it is. Look, there it is here. And it's in reverse. So they learned their lesson. What did they do? You guys, what did they do or what happened in this connection? Okay, that's what I should say. And the eight again, we know what the eight is also. It's forever love, but that's balance. That's bringing you in Libra. And of course, the infinity symbol. I'll try not to give you the finger. <laughs> that's also a number of movement. And it can't, it's, it's connected actually to Saturn, by the way, in karmic lessons, obstacles soulmate energy this is somebody who learned their lesson and wants to upright this ten of pentacles quite literally so yeah do i feel like this is what kind of that, that this is a romantic proposal i do what is that proposal it can be marriage it can also just be doing this pouring out their emotions here that we know that they have 
So it can be that, well, they were hiding it. They're the master of emotion, guys. That's the thing. It's Pisces energy here. You know, Pisces energy here. Pisces energy coming back, having learned their lesson. I mean, it is just really clear. This person has a lot of feelings for you. Dare I say loves you? Well, yeah, I think you love each other here wanting this outcome. Look at this. Neat. Not being able to take inspired action as they were in this Ten of Wands here. And brutal for them too in the Ace of Wands and also getting to the root of the issues and the hangman. But so timeline wise, I can't offer you that guys, but I tell you, this is your reading. This is your reading because this is somebody who has a lot of feelings for you and is coming here and sharing them. And, and I feel picking up or beginning the Ten of Cups with the, for the two of you because we see that the loneliness of being disconnected and they've learned their lesson in the Eight of Cups in reverse. And they have uprighted the Ten of Pentacles or they're trying. Okay, wow, you guys. Let's see if anything wants to come through with Oracle. Then we're going to read messages from their higher self and close your reading, Libra. Let me move the energy a little. He shows the cards for Libra. Aho, aho. Gratitude. Okay, it's the last quarter moon. This is sort of the, well, look, it's like an older hand and a younger hand. Interesting. It's like the Ten of Pentacles, this person being great, realizing what they have and what they want because. The thing is, is we were getting some clarity and it's them having learned their lesson, coming back and upwriting the Ten of Pentacles, realizing here, oh my gosh. Look, it's in reverse. Interesting. So this might, this might be your energy, I feel. Why? Because it's the faith card and it's sort of, Having lost faith, you know, that everything was going to line up. This is the four areas of support and stability. Because you were in the Ten of Swords, the Devil card is here, but there's a vulnerability to the Nine of Wands. And I feel you both here <laughs> very strongly. And you're not really sure. We see that in the High Priestess energy. So, of course, this is what's for you will not pass you by. And whatever journey you're on, timing wise, um, Everyone is deserving of somebody showing up for them so you're not chasing people and waiting for messages and tortured with that, you know? This energy here is somebody who is coming back and has a really big offer and is going to show the feelings that they haven't been able to show or what wasn't showing or whatever. So whatever you're wanting to do, it's clear that you hadn't had a lot of faith and how can you when you're laying here in the Ten of Swords? Regardless, what are you wanting for yourself, okay? Um, and deserving is what I wanted to say of somebody being there mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. You know, that the foundations of love, really, guys. This is High Priestess vibes for me. You know, I mean, look, she's here relaxed with everything she knows, having faith that the timing will, it will be when it will be. Letting go, letting God, going with the flow. If that is, in fact, where you are, and whether it's with this person or... If you are tapping into the magician energy here, manifesting a soulmate, okay? So it really will be, it just will be different for everybody. This needs to get uprighted, and I feel like it is. For me, this is a spinner. Look at this beautiful energy. It's the earth holding on to it. It's also, it also gives me, well, before I move on to what I'm also feeling here, I just want to say with this Empress energy is also, it's this person, it was you hoping that, they're going to open up and be come with the truth of how they feel, okay? It's con for me, it's connecting with the fifth chakra, which is speaking the truth, hoping that they come back and are emotionally available and want to upright this. So you had kind of lost that faith. You might still be here, um, but I do feel this upright for you, just restoring faith anyway for yourself but also this brings in the seven of pentacle or excuse me this yeah the seven of pentacle vibes for me which is venus and taurus energy of course it's the planet of love and that is just wanting to stay here in the upright and that is just how long you've been waiting you know for 
the outcome for things to come to fruition for like a successful outcome you know i'm um, not for like of that's just <laughs> really bad um grammar but you know what i'm saying here because we see with the ace of wands that it's been delayed it's you know in and out sort of hopeful and then it's not and you we're kind of losing faith here and you've just been waiting and you've been patient so that's what i also wanted to say i'm getting those vibes as well the seven of pentacle vibes okay you guys i want to bring in some messages from their higher self let me see which deck i'm feeling called to read from what do you want to say to your libra I write messages that I never sent. It makes me sad when I read our messages of happier times. I want to tell you the truth. Yeah, that for me is the King of Cups. It's the emotional energy. And it can still be that there's something going on in somebody's life and another connection. But I tell you, that's also upwriting that. That's the long-term energy. That's kind of, you know, the... Whether that's the, the fantasy, I want to say, some of that Neptune energy, but of getting to that, I wish I could tell you what is really going on in my life. We have a deep soulmate, deep soul connection. Yeah. I am ashamed of the way I handled things. Look, it's right there with the devil card. I am scared to leave the life I'm in. So this won't be for everyone, but for those of you that resonate with something going on in their life with another connection that's what that can be and you know commitments pentacles i'm rubbing my eyes here guys so somebody yeah this is a sign for me pentacles the commitment energy can be other people but it can be family of origin careers locations you know what is somebody committed to their lifestyle other people religion it hurts my heart that we can't be together I am so sorry I lied to you. Interesting. That's also going with the devil card. Okay, so these are the last two. We're going to look at them and close your reading, Libra. I want to talk, but I am afraid I still can't offer enough. When you feel my energy, it's because I am thinking of you. Libra. Whoa. Excuse me, guys. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's reading, please like the reading and subscribe to the Tarot Closet. It really helps keep keeping growing the channel, I should say. It keeps the channel growing <laughs> so that I can bring you more readings. Make sure you have your notifications on so you know when your readings are coming. They're around every week, every five to seven or eight days. So maybe a reading is for you one week, maybe it's not. I'm also releasing messages from your person, messages from your spirit guides, their feelings for you, twin flame readings, no contact picket cards, everything's below if you want to check out the playlists. And yeah, they're all timeless readings, so they're meant for you when they find you. By turning the notifications on, you'll know when your readings are coming and you'll also know when I'm going live, which is going to happen a lot once I can get everything sorted. I, it's more than likely the internet here in the Austrian Alps. So when I have time to work that out, I will. And yeah, you might want to know when I'm going live. Okay, Libra, thank you very much for being here. I hope you have a beautiful day. Sending you love and light and looking forward to seeing you at another reading. Bye till next time.